Apogee Industries team and I uh, were messing around with the 3D printer we got to produce one of our products and I said jokingly, oh, hey, let's 3D print a saxophone mouthpiece so that I can use. And Benjamin was like, yeah, why not? Here, here just bring me a mouthpiece and I'll try and model it in a CAD program. And this man did it. And then James did all the math to make sure that I was right. And here we are. Wow. The filament being used in this whole process was donated by one of our sponsors. And it was a red ABS filament. <laughs> nice. All right. 3D printing ligature. All right, I'm gonna export the G-code. An hour and 22 minutes. Really? Yep. That seems absurdly long. Yeah. I mean, it is on 0.1 millimeters. Okay. So I guess it kind of makes sense. Maybe we should make a video tutorial on how to fix layer shifting for your Prusa i3 printer. <laughs> Maybe. Don't know if we really no, solved it yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're not the best people to make that tutorial. No. Not at all. Where is it? We might it? start printing the mouthpiece. Did you just save the Vista? Point one. I might have saved it to the wrong place. Yeah, it's in the oh. 3D model folder. Okay, we're good. From the desktop. 0.15 sprint amount piece. Okay, looks good. Oh, do you think we maybe should have <coughs> adjusted the travel speed? Oh. Mm -hmm. I guess we will try it and see what happens.
adjustments now uh, to the mouthpiece. It is now almost completely flat. Um, I need to go over with some more fine sandpaper and then we will see how it goes. But here's a test after the first round of, of work on it with 400 grit sandpaper. Let's try the suction test. Oh, I guess it's not completely flat. Yep, yeah. need to go over it some more. But as you can see here, um, the chamber on the inside has a little bit of things sticking out right there. So I'm gonna try and go in with the Dremel today and try and sand that down a little bit. So next part coming soon. <laughs> Thank you.